Okay, we're back here with another uh, John Deere oversized load. These are our John Deere L341 square balers. A little bit large. We usually do not do two because they're really, really difficult to put on. They're too close together, but it's just a dealer-to-dealer -dealer thing, and we just barely got these things on here. So I've got a box up here, and, of course, you know, I've got my two straps over it because I got their parts in it. And, of course, I take my risers and put it up here and put a strap on it as best I can do. And this is what I'm talking about. You know, look how close that is to my risers already. And we couldn't come back much farther over here because our little tie-down hooks here. As you can tell, I'm not getting much of a pull-down. Go here to this corner as best I can because I've used the pocket there. You know, because we can't get too much farther back here. We could. And of course, in order to do this, I had to take the ladder off. I had to put it down underneath there, the drive shaft and everything. Got it strapped down. It said it's not real wide. Of course, this one here is really, really crooked. You see, it's just barely on the rub rails. And the, you can tell the front one's hanging off. That's why it should be. And, of course, dealer to dealer, they won't chalk their tires, wheels or nothing. They say, oh, everything's good. Well, they move still because they bounce on these tires and springs. And so I grabbed a couple 4 by 4s run front to back here, and put a strap on it to hold it. I do not trust these things. As, you know, no brakes, you know, no emergency brake, parking brake, nothing, you know, like tractors. And if you can tell, see this one right here. And I had them all the way against the tires. Tell it's moved just a little bit because it's just barely off the tire now. So, yeah, you really got to be careful. That's why I wanted them boards on there. And then here's our front tie down where I got my hooks in here. I call them my little TJ, you know, it's T hook or J hook from, you know, for John Deere stuff. Snap binder, of course, I always put my bungee around the handle so they don't bounce. So this won't bounce up here. And this was their idea to take and put this tongue down on the ground and tell their block broke and it dropped even farther. And look how close these machines are almost touching. You know, that one piece goes in front of the other one on the side. I mean, this is why I just don't like doing it like this. They're originally not a good idea. But and here's where I put the other boards on this one back here. Of course, same tie downs here. With my ratchets, I was able to use my pull-ups chains on the bed there. Back here, when I put the other board on the back side of this tire here, it helps. See, this this is our hang off. You know, the sides kind of hang off. It's not too bad. The flags are hanging off over here. And on this one here, they left the stand up. Of course, the hydraulics bled a little bit, so it got a little loose back here earlier, and I had to retighten them. So I always check these things. Always check, because you never know what's going to happen. Of course, you know, I've got my... I always put my bungees on them things. This is how close it is. See how that ball's right on the end of the 53-foot trailer. It cannot hang off unless it's a single piece. Then I can hang it off. But with multiple pieces, you can't do it. And, of course, same thing on this side, pretty much. It's all the same kind of tie-downs. My deal's here. And I got this this one on the good. You look at the tires on that one up there. They're really hanging off. This is that ladder that I had to take off on the other one just to get it to fit. <sighs> See where that one comes on on the other side of the hydraulic lines? And it was, it's been rubbed, rubbed on that hydraulic line a little bit. But what can you do? And then, of course, in Nevada, you got to have lights to run at night. So I've got my little magnetic light, and I'll use a bungee to strap it on there to, to help put it on there because it's under 10 feet so I can run at night. <sighs> But that's this one in a handbag. Not much to them. Fairly simple, fairly easy. Just really make sure the security, if you can, block these things. So, like I say before, if you find it helpful, useful, you can like, share it to other people so other people can see how these are done. Um, comment if you'd like, subscribe because I got more videos coming and see the ones that I've already done. I've also got stuff going on TikTok now. So, kind of see things on both sides have been doing a lot of shorts here lately, so we'll catch you guys on the next one.